guys, welcome back to my channel and also wish you all a very 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 happy new year and today's uh, topic is uh, going to be STD, sexually transmitted disease. Uh, so let's continue. Now we'll be talking about types of STI. So the first is parasitic. In parasitic type, a patient uh, generally complains of pubic lice which can be really itchy. And the second one which uh, is trichomoniasis in which there can be a discharge from the genital uh, which can be really itchy uh, and the second is bacterial so the bacterially uh, transmitted diseases uh, commonly are syphilis gonorrhea and chlamydia gonorrhea can cause infertility and uh, chlamydia however causes discomfort in urination and discharge from uh, genital uh, and syphilis uh, can show no symptoms at all uh, because syphilis are very painless and the third one is viral uh, diseases, sexually diseases which are uh, transmitted through virus. HPV or human papilloma virus. Every 75% of the population will have HPV once in their lifetime. Uh, but these days many vaccinations have come to prevent uh, HPV. And you can also get HPV through skin to skin contact. And the second is hepatitis B. Which is a liver disease? You can get at uh, you can get uh, hepatitis B uh, through using uh, razors of the others or uh, through using toothbrushes of others. And the third one is HIV, human immunodeficiency disease. The fourth one is genital herpes. There is no cure for genital herpes, HIV, and hepatitis B. And the symptoms of HIV can only be seen after 10 or 15 years after you are being infected. Risk factors of STD. The first is unprotected sex without condom. The second is having multiple sexual partners. The third one is the person who uh, work as a commercial uh, sex workers. The fourth one is uh, the drug abusers. They are in higher risk of getting STDs. And the last one is uh, getting uh, involved in sexual intercourse with a person who in their past have or had uh, many uh, sexual partners. Uh, most important and uh, most noticeable symptoms of uh, STDs are uh, fever, unusual fever, headache, fatigue, loss in weight, uh, rashes usually on the back and on genital uh, area and also one can get chronic uh, rheumatoid illness. Uh, night sweats are very common and uh, discomfort uh, during urination and discomfort and pain while uh, sexual intercourse discharge from penis or vagina yeast infection and inflamed lymph nodes the last symptoms is uh, no symptom at all uh, so these were just the warning symptoms and if you think that you are at a risk of HIV get tested right away prevention of STD for today's generation, avoid using hookup apps and getting physical with strangers or multiple uh, partners. And also be aware of the present partner, about the medical history of your present partner. About 50% of the people, of the sex workers are living uh, with HIV in the world. Uh, so if you are in a professional or personal contact uh, with these people, you should get tested at least uh, annually. Stop drug abuse, avoid using used razors and needles and also uh, stop sharing uh, towels and underclothing. So what are the screening for diagnostics? You should have an honest and open-ended conversation with your doctor and you should trust your doctor fully and tell him your concerns about the diseases. And many of the sexually transmitted disease uh, does not have early symptoms so you should get tested annually and uh, the tests are pathological tests, hormonal tests, vaginal uh, swabs. Uh. If you like this video then please share with your family and friends and please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you in the next video.